I'm Sherry Good. Um, I was detained at Queen of Spadina for four and a half hours. Prior to that, actually, um, a friend of mine and me were walking along Queen Street, which we live on Queen Street. Uh, we got stopped at Queen and Bay. Our bag, uh, his bag was gone through. We got as far as the Sheraton Centre, and about 12 cops jumped out of a, a van, surrounded us, pushed him against a wall. Uh, he's almost 60 years old. Uh, said that he, if he made the wrong move, uh, they would shoot him. They would break his hands. They broke his iPhone. Um, we then went to get a drink because we were upset. We were walking back home. We got saw a peaceful protest at Queen and Simcoe, joined in, ended up being uh, kettled for uh, four and a half hours at Queen's Medina in the pouring rain. I did not give myself up for uh, arrest, so I stood there the entire time. Uh, we were wet, we were cold, we weren't told anything, we were never told to disperse, we were never given a chance to disperse. Uh, the cops at the south end had said to walk north if you want to leave. There was another row of riot cops at the, south, at the north end, so you couldn't go anywhere. Um, it was it, it was dehumanizing, um, there was no communication whatsoever, even when they were told us we were allowed to leave. I had to get it via basically broken telephone because they weren't using their cannons or anything else to inform us of what was going on. They told like they were yelling what over all the noise that, about what could happen. Um, everybody there figured that we were going to be arrested, but especially when they started bringing in buses and buses and buses, um, and we were resigned to it. But um, the people I was with refused to give themselves up. Many, many, many people get, gave themselves up because they were cold and they were wet, and they also did their typical tactic of running into the crowd and grabbing people as well. So uh, in the end there was about 60 or 70 of us that... Uh, oh, so you, uh, you, you last till the end. Um, one of my friends did as well, yeah. We were just allowed to leave and as we were leaving, two cops on bicycles told me to have a nice evening. How sweet. Thank you very much. The nice part of the story, which I will tell as well, is that I got a cab to go home. The cab driver was from Afghanistan. We were soaking wet, obviously, making a mess of his cab, obviously. And he said he was from Afghanistan, told us all about how the Afghanis had taken over the police station in Afghanistan, and that if he hadn't had five babies at home, he would have been out on the street. I had to go up to the apartment to get money to pay him, and he refused our money and said we were heroes and so I gave him whatever money I had and that was, that was a nice part of the evening. Oh, that's, that's yeah. great. So, anything, anything else that you wanted to say? Sorry? Oh, anything, anything else? Um, I appreciate all the alternative news. Um, one thing to any young protesters out there, 20 years ago I was out on the streets protesting for gay rights, women's rights, uh, choice. They told me that it didn't work. I, I tended to believe them and look where we are today. We have women's choice, Gay people are getting married in my country, and I'm very proud of that. Um, we have, instead of Pride, Pride Day being a demonstration, it's a celebration. That's a wonderful thing as well. Um, it, so keep on going. Don't don't give up. Um, I gave up for about 10, 15 years, and I'm back. And they're not going to shut me up. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Broadcast news.